One thing that South Korea and Spain have in common is that they have their own version of the hit TV series, Money Heist. Spanish Money Heist and Korean Money Heist are very good. I've watched them both, actually, and they've got very different storylines, but the same characters in it. Another thing that these two countries have in common is that they were the countries of residence for Pike Sung-ho, a 26-year-old South Korean midfielder who plays for Jumbok Hyundai Motors. Now, that club is someone who has been mentioned in Scout Report before. I did a um, video on Cho Gi Sung in January last year. This is the club where Sung Ho plays for right now. And that's his first name, by the way. So those who don't understand how Korean names work. Pike is his surname. Sung Ho is his first name. I do put Koreans in this for because, well, some ballers come out of that country and I like the national team as it is. It's gone from strength to strength. And it's playing at the Asia Games right now. Well, Pike Sung Ho is just one of those people who's been known about in Korea since he was a child. He's turned all the heads. He's got all the media attention about him. And I think that he's set for a move to Europe. Even Korean football fans attest to that. I believe that his contract with... John Book is about to expire as well. So he's going to be looking to you know, consider his options along the line. But in the 26 years that he's been on the planet, he's done some amazing things. He's played in World Cups. He's met some of his footballing idols as a teenager. And he's scored memorable goals that have been talked about a lot of the time. So... How come he's never been known about in England? Probably because of where he plays. You'll find this with my videos. The reason why you might not know some of these players is simply because, well, they're not in leagues that you are familiar with. But that's okay. You may find out about them soon enough. Paik Sung Ho, what am I going to tell you about him in this video? Well, let me get right into it because this guy has just had the spotlight on him more or less his whole life. When he was in elementary school, clubs from Europe began to scout him. He caught Barcelona's attention and signed for the under-13 team in 2010. He was only 13 years old. He was offered education, housing for his family, and transport to and from practice. The money was one thing, but the opportunity to... Play for such a famous club at a young age was another, and that's one reason why he did. He signed to play for the B team one year later and made his debut for Barcelona in 2016. He joined Girona and played for Peralada, its youth team, prior. However, he struggled to settle and moved to German side Darmstadt 98. He didn't fully settle in Germany and made it clear that he wanted to go back to South Korea to be closer to relatives and to have an experience of playing club football in his homeland. So that's why he signed for John Buck Hyundai Motors. <music> Athleticism and natural traits of a footballer aren't really applicable to this person. He's not pacey, he's not skillful, but he's calm, collected and sensible when he's on the ball. He likes to have the ball at his feet and aims to make passes in order for his team to keep flowing. He's very focused, determined and hardworking as well. He usually relies on free kicks, penalties and long range strikes for his goals. He infamously scored one of the goals of the World Cup for South Korea when South Korea played against Brazil in Qatar. Lucas Paquetar actually played against this guy, bear in mind. So he would have seen that goal firsthand from, well, pitch level. Although he does lack a lot of pace and athleticism, like I say, he is willing to put in some hard work for his team. And that's one thing that I'll always back. Hard work beating talent when talent isn't there to advocate for the hard work. Set for a move around Europe. So maybe the Premier League could be the next destination for him. I'd very much like that to be at West Ham United. 